What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Backbone. Uh, you may remember I played this some time ago on the channel with the demo, or what is now, I think, called the prequel. Uh, so you're a detective, uh, like, raccoon, if I recall. And you, uh, you're trying to do stuff. Just in case you were wondering. Act 1. Prologui. Reading a book while smoking in a tub. Now that's B A A F. Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Use. To drag and drop items, press A to read the description. I'm not using a controller. I should probably connect with the controller. It's probably easier with a controller. Hmm. Here we go. Inspect corkboard. That's where the stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, really. Oh, wait, I'm moving this thing way too much. Okay, uh... Fuck it, I don't want to read that right now. Insurance frauds, stolen cars, and strange lovers. Should probably be in some of those old file cases. Use the thing to drag things and things for things. So we can pick up the bowl. That all we gotta clean up. That's all I had to pick up. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So, never. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Even photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. I'll watch these later. Probably not. <laughs> the Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Great for weight and I take a deuce. And now I can't leave the... Did I miss something? Oh, place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. Everything everything knows its proper place? Heh. <laughs> you mean everything's in its proper place? That must be Mrs. Green. Oh, so this was... This is literally what the demo was. <laughs> Odetta. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Latour. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? That's me. You are you were vague before, so tell me everything, Mrs. Green. Um... I'll do the at your service. Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine, and please, Odetta's fine. Your first kid? You got it. How can I help you today? You didn't say much when we spoke before. I understand. This sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing. I'm listening. He's a cheater, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. But I need real proof, right? To go to court? Court? Are you filing for divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you the proof, Odetta. I'll be taking the case! <laughs> um court. That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband still will want the kids? I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. 
I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? When did you realize he might be unfaithful? I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. I work better when I know everything. It's the kids, Odetta. I really need every edge I can get. Evidence for the custody battle is extra, so... I'd rather... I'd really rather keep a few boundaries, Mr. Latour. Custody battles are an added expense, Odetta. Tell me how you caught on to the affair. I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. <laughs> uh, tell me about the affair. He was always a private kind of man. Now... He started getting home late. I think I went more British all of a sudden with her. Missing work and smelling funny. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? What kind of smell? He's skipping work. And you caught him lying? How late are we talking? Like five o'clock? Six? I go to bed by seven, lady. Um, Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is per pertinent, Mr. Lotor. He threatened to take the kids. Odetta, personal details can make a break case. I'm taking the case. Threatened to take kids. He has threatened to take them. Yes, Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have go have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Odetta, this is not your fault. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Yes, I'm finally being brave. For them, at least. Let's nail this bastard. I'm taking the case. <laughs> sure, what do you need to know? Um, What does he look like? Where do I find him? Usually, I mean. Have you met any of his friends? How would I pick him out of the crowd? What's his full name? Any aliases? Uh, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an elder, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Have you met any of his friends? Okay, uh... Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere, and now it is all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No. But he's mentioned a few guys. Says they got together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of the crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. What's his full name and aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank, Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. That's just the matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring it to me by the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus an unexpected expenses. Please be careful. Nobody can know we spoke. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. You trust me, Odetta. I understand. I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odetta. Don't let me down, Mr. Latour. I trust you with my life. Of course. I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odetta. New objective. How do I look at objectives? Okay. To Granville. Uh, whole computer just froze for a second there. Man, this game, game took everything from my computer. I love the art and aesthetic of this game. Backbone. Granville, California. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you can run, that's right. Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Yo, old man. Tickle this photo, have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, even if I had, why would I tell you? Yeah, how's your day so far? Just hanging. What's up with you? You could say I'm hanging too. From me hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Goodbye then. <laughs> Hold right trigger to run. And totally. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? My beaver. How are Estrella and the kids? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great. We even bless the shepherd. Got a second land due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another. Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks. Here's a big one, too. 
Essie is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story. I tell her, ha, woman, you got any bigger and I won't fit in the trunk of the car. Great, can you answer a couple of my questions? Huh, funny. And so, ha <laughs> ha, she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me that bread, honey. Oh boy, women, man. Yeah, okay. Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. <laughs> so we break the news to our boy Victor, his son. You're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? What is it, Tolly? So I tell him. Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're gonna be so happy. Me and my baby bro, we play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's the catch. There's a catch? You and Mama are gonna have to look after him, because two babies means zero daddies, because Daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Ha 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 ha! Well, that got depressing fast. <laughs> got a missing person on me. His wife is pregnant, too. Oh, the poor lass. Well, spit it out, man. What's he look like? Is he from around here? Here's a picture. Have you seen him recently by any chance? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel laughs kind of guy. Small. Really bad. Oh, smell really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Have any ideas where he'd be now? He smelled? What exactly? Ah, uh, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. I think he might have shit himself as well. That's probably where the poopy smell came from. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Any idea where he'd be now? Guess the bite is as good as a guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too washed to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for the both of us. Ha! Thanks, Anatoly. Your detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, man. Bye. Did a great job restoring the rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Oh, what was the movie saying? The day I broke a bike, Citizen Maine, Johnny and Johnny and John don't drive. The great great story shown every day at 11 a.m. and 5:10. Canines, cocktails, and a movie sounds like a good, great plan for the weekend. Actually, Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the Bite. Oh, Wolf Bank. Is this where Green works? <laughs> yeah. How you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? Take a look at this photo. You've seen this man? Is Jez around? And who are you? Wallace. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Oh, he'll pay. If I can find him. Seen him today? Of course. But the wimp ass left work early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Hit. <laughs> Something happening at work. Heard his contract is getting is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did your boys spend time with him outside work? Where do you think he headed? What do you what say you boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter? Where he belongs? Only apes know. Did your boy spend time with him outside work? He got a girlfriend or something? If you reckon harlots are sort of girlfriends, then sure. Could be with one of them for all I know. Did your boy spend time with him outside work? Yeah, da da da. We used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. Till he turned into a needy leech. The bite. Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, Rack. I'll do just that. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. No entrance to raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Understandable. Have a great day. <laughs> Never mind. I ain't messing with you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Um... Sure, bye. 
Do I want to go in the alley yet? Yeah, let's go in the alley. I don't, it's been a while since I played, so I gotta remember everything. I remember there was like some rooftop stuff, and there's some people to talk to, which I was already doing. But it seems like there was more people. Oh, this is where you need to find a password, right, to get in. It's one of the ways in. I think there's a couple ways in, right? Howard, well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry? Larry, what are you doing here? Larry? Larry, what are you doing here? How are you doing, old man? You call me old? You should look in a mirror. Shit, man, are you okay? I'm doing okay. I'm looking for someone. Still got the detective gig? Sure, how are you? Yeah, have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Oh gosh, poor lady. Dot dot dot. What's he like? He's about my height. Chubby. Wears a green hat. Tall. Wears a purple hat. Here's a photo. <laughs> Haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me in to the bite. Think I know where to look. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Tough break. I'm really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Have any idea how I could get in? Or I can get a good disguise. Maybe I was a handsome cat. Dot dot dot. Oh, Howard, you may be able to pass as a cat, but even when, you'd be ugly. I'm all seriousness. I need in. What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. It's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical. Like hype and shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Comes up with these names. It's like they don't know what... It's like they don't want you to do drugs. I cannot speak very well today, it seems. You think this Johnny guy would help? Monkey butt. What do you know about the bite? Alright, hopefully that's enough for me getting into the bite. Thanks. Uh, monkey butt. Yeah. Where is this new thing's the shit? Though perhaps a bite a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have kind of an herbal stank? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a mere delicate way to put it. And you think this Johnny guy would help? What, what do you know about the bite? Nah, uh, Johnny. Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. He's clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Oh, there's a Bloodworth. So lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth. Dot dot dot. The bear family? Crime family. Last year, head to the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. Air ended up in the prison. And the current owner is a relative? What are the rumors? What's the deal with the owner? Okay, all kinds of bullshit. How's, how she's got an ape for a lover or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. All right, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. Welcome distracting, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror. A pair of scissors and a large whiskey. <clears throat> oh crap! Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Rich people clothes, one sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Once I get punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, uh, memories. <laughs> Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, cigs, dot dot dot. Aha! I take it to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Bo. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Anything good happening for a change? Maybe later. Thanks, bye. How's business, Bo? Business is business. Could always be better, but it keeps me fed. Damn, hawkers don't help any. Greenville's filling up with them, and the force don't bat an eyelid. Why does it bother you so much? No permit means they can undercut honest businessmen like myself. They're criminals. Hawkers. You know, peddlers. They're all they're, bleh, 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 bleh. you know, peddlers. They haul their rickety ass, stands around, hassling folks and all with no permit. Gotcha. I better get I'll, I'd better go then. Yeah, you go. I'm busy. 
that rodent hawker will be arriving any minute now. I need to make sales. Oh, cheer up, Bo. You have at least one loyal customer. Sorry to hear. You gotta go, but I'll see you around. Man, you can be a bit of an entitled prick sometimes. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks, something for everyone. Uh, just the paper. What's the headline? Oof. Loyal customer, my ass. Front page today's great ape parade. Preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. That'll be a half loon. You wanted a headline. Thanks, man. See ya. That's the end of this area. Okay. Animations. Uh, I forgot about this guy. Howard, come over here, boy. You're mistaking me for someone else, officer. Uh, hi, Downey. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Talk later. Hey, boy, -o, get yourself a job yet. Okay, we're gonna make him sort of Irish, even though I can't do Irish very well, but we'll try. So I apologize if it's not good. Uh, I have my own PI agency. And what are you investigating, detective? Yeah, it's already not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, I mean. <laughs> Murder. Heists. That juicy stuff. It's confidential. Listen, I don't appreciate you getting into my business. Yeah, sure. Called your mom recently. Why do you care? I will. You better. And when all you get married, your negligence, your biological responsibilities to the shepherd, the clock's tick. I don't know what voice I'm going for this guy anymore. He's just gonna be a smorgasbord of voices. Screw it. <laughs> We're not even related. Shepard can't wait. Oh, Downey, fuck off. We're basically family. Maybe one day you'll learn about what that means. Or else what? Or else I'm gonna hug you to death. Come over here. Maybe later. I have to go. Come on. When did you last catch up? Have you seen any shiny new honor badges? It's real shiny. No, bye. Top of the precinct for shooting pigeons. Nice. boy. What about Lydia said? She does love me. Maybe too much. Good for you. Yeah, it's not easy though. I gotta run. Bye. Running away from you. Goodbye. I had the ticket right here. What's this? Haha, <laughs> you're a funny... Oh, that's right. I did like a little squeaky voice. What's this? Haha, <laughs> you're a funny little fella. So, can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper. You found in a dumpster, so no. But thanks for a good laugh. Want to hear another joke? No, don't test my patience. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Baron Arcoon walk into a bar. Fuck off. You're no fun, bye. Alright, how else was it to get in? You, did you have any other information? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? I am. Yeah, I'm Johnny. What's it to you? Got any drugs? I heard you deal monkey butt. I need to get into the bite. I bet you do, pal. But why should I care? Uh, heard they sell monkey butt through you. Listen, I heard it's a place to go for good shit. Oh, you mean like the new school jazz or the great upholstery? Cut the crap. I know they deal monkey butt in there. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Get out of here, old fart. Kid, I know I'm being a bore, but I really need your help. Please, would you lend a hand? Just help me with the big guy out front. That's all I'm asking. Get into the bite, and I won't take no for an answer, you shit. Hank doesn't let any old chump in. For good reason. Say I make you simpatico. What does Johnny get in return? Garrett gets not to be introduced to the cops. I'm detective. My mark is in the bite. I owe you one. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. I might consider not turning you into the cops if you help me out. You feel me? Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. <laughs> scratch my back. I scratch yours. Ever heard that? Yeah, so I see some filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama, too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crab cake. Crap cake. Takes one to know one. Weird hearing that from a fellow that's so much fur gel that he literally sticks to a wall. Don't you find? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. At least my mother isn't busting her gut in the farmlands. You're so ugly when you're angry. You know you're right, I am a loser, but I need your help. Fuck off. I'll get you in, but only so you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. Meet me at the entrance, fool. After you. I feel like that was a completely different way that I got in than last time. 
Oh wait, do you get in and kicked out? Is that how it went? I don't remember this shit. So, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? What do you want? Here's Johnny! Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Go inside. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. A little too high end for my taste. There's some people to talk to, right? Yeah. Well, you're unusual. Sorry, not unlike that greeting. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will. Though, I'm not, I was just as an observant Renee Wilson. Howard Latour. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. Maybe the one giving out fake names and you're projecting onto me. Calling it, that's a line. You wouldn't said that no matter what name I gave. You're quick. You're a wit. Alright, I'll confess, you got me on the name. That's all, no apology, no repair. Maybe next time. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? Not at all. I'm truly delighted. My night just got a little more, a lot more interesting. I hope you'll tell me about yours once it's over. Take my card. Investigative journalist? Still living, usually. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. I was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. Hey there! You here for Eden Simmons' show, too? I'm so happy to see her live, finally! I haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound, though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. Sound like a big fan. Makes her great. Does she play her often? From time to time. I like the place. It's very classy, and the food is great. Been here before? Nah. Heh, <laughs> nah. My mom doesn't approve of this place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to get be here tonight. How come, if you don't mind me asking? Sound good music sounds like it's worth it. Ha, huh, well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. You know what? I'll be going. Bye. Wish I could. Say, have you seen an honor gentleman tonight? Here's his photo. Let me think. Dot dot dot. Think I saw him like that walk in. Did you see where he went? Was his hat green? Did he have a brave face with him? Oh yes, and he went and so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Did you see where he went? Did he have a briefcase? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Did you see where he went? He talked to the lady at the jade-colored dress, and then went upstairs, I think. Thanks. Enjoy the show. Isn't this too dreamy? Listen, I'm looking for someone. Well, you sure are. God, I love this music. Wanna dance with me? Huh? Sorry, no. Can you at least answer a couple of questions for me? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant night. Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? <clears throat> In here? How could I not be? <clears throat> not yet. My friend's late. I'm worried about him. How touching. They regular? Jeremy? He's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? For drinks. You could try asking the bartender. Or Miss Bloodworth. Thank you for the time, Miss... Call me Ingrid, mister. How rude of me. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I hope we see you again soon. Goodbye. Listen to music. Oh, that's cool. I don't think this was a part of it before. I like how I'm listening to no music. Okay, anyway. So we got Clarissa and we got Hank, who's also guarding this area. <laughs> hey, Clarissa. Explain it all. You look a little lost. Is that obvious? I'm exactly what I needed to be, where I needed to be. It is to me. What gave it away? Not my usual scene. 
And what brings you here tonight? You're not a troublemaker, are you? Do I look like a troublemaker to you? That's an old saying about books and their covers, but you never know ben better than, they than me. Well, my cover today is a raccoon in a trench coat. Not too troubling, in my humble opinion. And how should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? Howard Latour, private investigator. How exciting. Are you here on business? So what if I am? Wouldn't I be welcome like any other customer? That's up to me to decide. And no, you wouldn't be. Please leave. And who are you? I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Now, you were leaving? It's not at all suspicious. Maybe I'll see you around. Don't worry, Mr. Latour. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again soon. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. And then we got kicked out. Alright. So we were kicked out, and now we gotta find a new way in. But I think we'll do that in the next episode. So, if you guys are enjoying Backbone, please, please like this video, and leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I'm loving this game, I'm gonna keep playing it, I'm gonna definitely do a few more episodes, but... If it doesn't look like people are watching, obviously, I'm just gonna nix the videos part of it and just play it for my own enjoyment. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next episode comes out. But above all else, stay delightful, stay insane, every day. Peace!